Welcome back to another Path to Mastery. Today I want to talk about reacting and uh, your reactions that you do in a TVT, uh, or in any build really, and understanding what, um, having my plan and then knowing how to adjust my build in order to meet that plan either sooner or later. So <clears throat> if you've seen my other uh, build order guide for TVT, or my build order that I use for TVT, it's, I usually get six cyclones off of the bat. I go, I do, uh, no, I'll be a little more detailed. I do a uh, Reaper expand, and then I get two Hellions reactored out from my factory, and I send uh, the uh, <clears throat> Reaper and two Hellions across the map to scout while I'm getting six cyclones behind it. And then I count, I transition into a bio push. Uh, I use the cyclones to try to get map control and to keep him in his base. But <clears throat> this time, I do a little bit of a different uh, build on this. So I will show you what uh, I'm talking about. So I'm gonna just kind of send this through. I always send on an SCV scout on 17, see what's happening. On the other side of the base, if he's taking out his second gas earlier, if he's gonna, you know, not have his barracks in his main base. Basically, that's what this SCV is for. It has two jobs. See, is he expanding? And then is his barracks in his main? That's basically all I do with this first SCV, and then I usually bring it home. <clears throat> so if he's also trying to do a quick expand like I am, right now, as you can see, I'm having an SCV go down to the natural to expand. I can also try to block it with this SCV. So I come up and I see that he's got a command center behind this. I'm like, oh, all right. This is uh, interesting. I'm, I've got to keep my eyes open on what's going on. So I send it home. I know that there's going to be something coming out of a... Uh, this barracks soon and I don't want to lose my um, SCV so I take it home I've got my Reaper coming out he's here to protect my um, command center SCV that's what I want to do with this Reaper so he's staying kind of on this mid ground here I don't want a Reaper to come across and try to mess with with this and delay mine I'm taking this so I've got to get that investment out as much as possible behind this getting a factory getting my uh, reactor on my uh, barracks just as, this is standard if you've seen my uh, my build, I'll, you can find it in my uh, build order guide section of my playlist. Maybe I'll put a link in the description to that video. But here we are. So <clears throat> until now, again, I'm just going to get two. Switch these two buildings really quick. Start my tech lab and get two Hellions out. Lickety split. Boom. boom. All right. Now after this, I'll get two cyclones. I oh, I get a couple of barracks. I'm gonna get a starport eventually after I get after I'm done with my cyclones. Get some upgrades and then push out. But let's see what I can what I realize with this first scout. I'm not showing you over here for a reason. I want you to kind of take into go through the same thought process I did when I was doing this. So again, right behind this, I'm starting my two cyclones. This is just part of my build, and I'm going across. So if something wants to come in now, there's only about, what, 20 seconds where I've got to kind of micro around my, my units until I've got two cyclones hosing things down across the map. So here we go. Into this base. Let's take a look at what I'm seeing here. Okay. Now I see a bunch of Marines and a bunker. And I also saw earlier that he went CC first. So what I'm... What I can get out of this is this bunker here, I don't see him being super, super aggressive across the map right now. I see him trying to build up a bit of an army, trying to leverage as much as he can this early command center, and then try to push across the map. So I'm going to make a decision here. Let's go back to my home. I'll show you the decision I make. Let's take a look at what I do. So if you've seen my build order until this point, you know that I start a third cyclone and then I get two wrecks. I'm going to start my uh, Stargate, my starport right now and I'm gonna start tanks right now because I know he's not gonna be walking across the map right now. He is kind of staying home and bunkering down. He wants to turtle up. So I'm going to use that advantage against myself. Now I'm going to take these units out to make sure I'm not wrong. If there's something coming across the map very soon, I want to know about it. 
but I'm going to shoot very quickly towards upgrades and to get two tanks out. So my usual push is at about 7 minutes and 30 seconds. I'm going to try to cut a minute off of that and do it by 6.30 this build. Now, this is a very greedy build. If you look, if he was to be reactoring out cyclones or getting a whole bunch of units, uh, like these cyclones right now, he could be across the map doing a lot of damage, but because he's got this tank first and this bunker, there's no way he's coming across. So I'm just waiting. You know, are you coming across? I'm just, I gotta make sure I know what's going on. I'm gonna get two NG bays right now and I'm gonna start shooting really quickly towards this 1-1 one, one timing. As soon as Stim is gonna finish, I'm also gonna get combat shields. So this is my, this is my, uh, uh, kind of idea here. He's starting to come across the map. I see that he's starting to move. Now, I've already got a couple tanks out. I'm moving my stuff to the high ground. I'm going to get a tank back here, and I just want to hold. I feel very confident that I've already got, like, this much production up and running. He's trying to come across the map with a small push. It, this is not a game-ending push, so I'm not, I'm not going to do anything funky. I'm going to start 1-1 one, one right now. I've got two tanks. I'm ready to pull my boys if I need to, but I'm just waiting for him to come in. He does a scan up. He doesn't see just tanks. I take two nice shells. He gets one of my tanks. Right? So this is... I got his tanks and I'm pretty happy about this. Even if I lose a bunch of these marines, which I did, this is my mistake. Again, I'm just... I wasn't... Um, this is before I hit diamond and I started being able to control a little bit better. This is maybe plat 2 game but what I want to show what I really want to showcase in this is how I can react to my opponent what he's doing with a bunker and a, bu and a bunch of Marines I know I don't need to worry about drops so again he's trying to walk up my ramp I'm getting plus one it's almost finished and right now I am just staying hold hold until plus one finishes is what I'm trying to do hold until plus one is finished I didn't get um, combat shields. It's going to be okay. I'm just still pumping out as many marines as I can. I'm kind of worried about a drop coming in, so I'm starting to rally over to here. I've got a tank. I've got, I had a tank down at the front. Uh, uh, yeah, I have a tank down here. So if anything tries to come up, he can't pick off th this tank. I should have kept one on the high ground the entire time. It would have been a much cleaner uh, finish to his build, uh, to his pressure, but I'm not too worried about it. And then, again, right here at 1-1, one, one, I'm going to move across the map. I'm going to be taking my third, and I'm going to move across the map. So let's take a look. 1-1's one, going to finish up. I forgot combat shields. is a bit of a mistake, but there it is. Get my third as soon as 1-1 one, one finishes. Start 2-2 two, two behind it. And now I'm going to walk out across. I don't know if he's got a third or not, but I'm going to see what I can do. See the damage that I can get done. I do know mech, so I, know, I do know he has mech, so I know he is turtling up like crazy. He's got enough siege tanks on the high ground to stop any kind of frontal attack. But I've got an economy advantage and an upgrade advantage over him right now. Yeah, so I see that he's not got a third here, so okay, no third. I'm going to try to get him to come down that ramp. I'm going to send one medevac. Uh, one medevac with marines into his main to try to get some damage. Again, I want him to get angry and try to push across the map. So, I'm going to try to take off all of his uh, tanks, stop his tanks. At the same time, now that I see his army is getting pulled up to the top, I'm going to try to move in with my army here. I get hit with some shells, I'm like, no, 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 no. We are fine. We are fine. We're not going to do that. But now, I know what he's doing. So now, what I'm going to do, leverage my uh, my map control, basically, my map control over my opponent. I'm searching to see if he's got other bases. I'm assuming that he, he's, he's got to have a hidden base somewhere at nine minutes if he's just on two bases. This is, this is very bad for him. So very, very bad if he's on two bases at nine minutes. So I'm convinced that there is some kind of hidden base somewhere. So I'm out looking for it.
is the epic part of the game. But I've got 2-2 two, two finishing right now. And I'm going to start 3-3 three, three behind this. I've got combat shields finally at the 9 minute mark. Combat shields. Uh, I'm getting a 4th base down right now. This is what I'm going to realize. Should get a cancel on this. No cancel. No cancel. But I see what's going on. I see it's here. But, again, I, I assume he doesn't have a third. I assume that he's just two based. So, all I have to do, again, defend my investment. Defend this base. I've got 60 workers. He's got, I guess, 30. Now, just wait for him to engage. Wait for him to push forward. His tanks are not sieged. So, I get in there, stem on top of his tanks, take it all out with 2-2. Two -two. There it is. There she goes. So, what is, what is the moral of this story here? Your scouting information, it's very important to have a build order, to have an idea of where you want to go in a match. And my build order is the same as Mario's. I do a six cyclone opener into a bio push with 1-1. One, one. That's my timing. And I do the same thing with 2-2. Two, two. I push in again at 2-2 two, two, and I push in again at 3-3. Three, three. During that, I'm just out on the map trying to take control, trying to get easy pickoffs, trying to see where he is and prepare for any kind of a drop or for any kind of, um, you know, major damage coming in my way. But if I see that he's going bunker into siege tank, why do I need to make six cyclones? Six cyclones in this case would do absolutely nothing. I would just lose all the cyclones to this bunker in a siege tank. Maybe kill three workers, but I would lose, you know, almost 10 supply or 12 supply in, in units to kill a bunker and one siege tank, a couple workers, it's totally not worth it. So what am I going to do? I'm going to rocket towards the next step of my build, the 1-1 one, one timing. So I know what I want to have. Two tanks, two medevacs, plus one, plus one. All right, let's get some tanks, let's get some medevacs, let's get plus one, plus one as soon as we can, and then let's move across the map and let's take our third. I did that, ended up winning this match pretty confidently. Um, and uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to showcase that you know, don't be afraid to change out your plan if you see a reason to. But I wouldn't suggest just going, ah, I don't think I can do this. Have a reason behind it. I knew that I couldn't go up this ramp because of what he had, so I changed my mind. I hope you learned something. This is, again, trying to get up to Master League, and every little thing I learn, I try to share it with uh, all my viewers. So hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.